All right, so welcome to the uh, science lab. Uh, so we're doing something today. I wanted to do a geology experiment now, or demo, I should say. Um, geology demonstrations are a little bit tricky uh, because you normally need to go outside to do them and actually look at real rocks. Um, but we want to actually think about how tectonic plates move and about what are called plate boundaries. Um, and it's a little bit hard to actually look at real plate boundaries. So uh, what we're going to do is simulate them using peanut butter and graham crackers. All right. Okay. So guys, I have two plates there for you, and I'm, they probably can't be seen by the camera. So we got dark graham crackers and light graham crackers. What are they supposed to represent? Oceanic crust and continental crust. Right. So um, when we talk about how the Earth's crust is divided up, we generally talk about the idea that there's two kinds of crust, oceanic and continental. Do you guys know the difference between those two? One's yeah. made out of chocolate graham crackers, <laughs> and the other one's made out of original It was for you, Nathan. Nice okay. to know. I think there's cinnamon. <laughs> no, oh, there's cinnamon. Not. Sorry, I was wrong. Right, there's lots of cinnamon in the cotton. <laughs> mm, goes great with peanut butter, guys. Uh, so uh, as the name sort of suggests, right, continental crust is definitely the stuff that makes up continents and sort of land masses that, uh, uh, that are exposed to air, and oceanic crust uh, makes up the areas that are covered in water. But there's, there's another sort of important consideration, which is that um, over time, Everything that makes up Earth's crust has been mixed together and then reformed. And, and what we've gotten is uh, spaces of lighter crust and heavier crust. So the continental crust is lighter crust, and it tends to float higher than and over oceanic crust. Mm -hmm. And this is because it has less iron and more silica, iron being more dense than silica. Uh, oceanic crust is exactly the opposite. Higher amounts of iron and other heavy uh, elements are going to make oceanic crust heavier. And this is something that's just happened naturally. Through, through density and, and uh, denser materials gathering in oceanic crust and lighter materials gathering in continental crust. So those differences will be important as we go through here. So you're each going to get to spread a little bit of peanut butter on a plate. I've got a plate for each of us. So we'll see. Do you want to draw your plate? They're all different. I'm going to take the middle one. OK. Is that the middle? Yep. Could be. Taking two. All right. Oh. Got it, got it. Is it a better one? Um, oh, no. Are you supposed to look at them? I don't know. You might not get a chocolate Yoink. one if you're not. Yeah. I think I won convergence. OK, yeah. So let's see. Well, well uh, Will, what do you got over there? Convergent continental oceanic. OK, so we got a convergence. We got transform, and then convergence, and then divergence. So we'll talk about what each one of these is as we go through. But the first thing we need to do is each spread some peanut butter in the center of our plate. So just going to take a knife, and there's another one here. and. Just take a chunk like this and spread it on the center Ooh. of the plate like this. You want to get kind of a nice, even coating, a little bit more maybe than I've got there. Let's see. And what this is going to do, the peanut butter is going to sort of represent what's called the mantle. So the layers of the earth, when we talk about the earth, uh, the outermost layer is called the crust. That's probably good. There you go, Becca. Is this good? That's great. And they spread it out just a little bit smoother, more even. OK. Um, and what is yours? Oceanic, oceanic, just before you cover it. Okay. Um, so uh, the outermost layer of the Earth uh, is called the crust. Uh, below that would be something called the mantle. The mantle is uh, a thick layer of the Earth, um, and it's a uh, uh, not totally solid layer of the Earth. Um, it's not as fluid as peanut butter is, um, but it does flow slowly um, in what are called convection currents. And convection currents come from the heat at the center of the Earth, uh, heating up the mantle creating these currents, and the currents in the mantle are what move the uh, tectonic plates around uh, the Earth. All right, so um, we'll just kind of get started here with uh, Nate, I think. Um, OK, so Nate, you are convergent plate boundary. And oceanic, oceanic? Yeah, you covered up continental, continental. Okay. So you can choose to either do two continental pieces or two oceanic pieces. OK. OK. And uh, all you need to do is, so which would you rather do? I guess chocolate or honey? Oh, that's question. tough. I think I'm going to go with the oceanic. OK, crust. yeah. So go ahead. Grab two uh, yeah. chocolate graham crackers. And then what Nate's going to do is he's going to put them together on his plate, touching each other. Like side by side? Side by Kinda side. like, oh, Yep. Like that. Perfect. Just like that. All right. So Nate's going to mimic this convergent plate boundary. So Nate, what you need to do is you need to just push the two graham crackers into each other as hard as you can. As hard as I can? Mm -hmm. Should I push down really hard? Um, you don't want to crack the graham crackers if you can't, so try to push from the sides, but try to push them into each other, if possible. Yeah, Cool, and too. actually, um, hold on one second. Times these. This is why I got, oh, maybe oh. not, maybe not. Definitely. This is why, all right. 
So, hey, can you pull those off for me really fast? Yeah. Mm, so with, with uh, a convergent plate boundary, let's say, okay, so Nate, this is going to get a little bit gross. You're going to want to eat a different ground fairy than the ones you use. <laughs> but just go okay. ahead and just dip. Different ones? The ends. Yeah, we'll use these. Just right. use them. So we'll just dip uh, we're like trying this. to soak the end. To... Yeah, just to get it a little bit softer. Yeah. And what this does is helps to soften the graham cracker so that we get uh, sort of a nice crumpling. But also it mimics the uh, heat that you get from a convergent plate boundary. So before you actually do this again, Nate, what does convergent mean? Just in your mind, what does that word mean? Coming together, pushing Co together? Coming together, pushing together, right? right. So we're talking about either, uh, and, and in this case, we're talking about the same kind of crust pushing together. So either ocean, ocean, or uh, continent, continent pushing together. Oh, okay. okay. That's why it's continent, yeah. Yeah, so um, because they have the same densities, they'll have a similar reaction. Okay. So at this point, those things should be soggy enough. Go ahead and pretty soggy. push us, push us together. See if we can see it. See if we can get the, the full effect here. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, it's kind of smushing. Oh yeah, just just go for Crumbling it. Crumbling up. Just go for it. All right, Nate, can we actually stop right there? That's beautiful. All right. All right so what Nate has done, as you can see, is made a little graham cracker, a soaked graham cracker, <laughs> mountain range, um, and and that is exactly what happens when we get the same kind of crust knocking into each other. Hmm. We get uh, uh, uplift and mountains formed, and, and oftentimes uh, when you see mountains, you know you're looking at a convergent plate boundary. And so. That would be, I mean, these are the two same crusts because you said talk about density, right? Great. So they are pushing with equal. Right. There might be density. some right. differentiation based on density, but mm -hmm. largely you're going to get a mix. And that's really what you saw in yours. They just push together and squish together. Okay. But let's jump to the next convergent plate boundary. So, Will, I need you to grab one piece of oceanic crust and one piece of continental crust. All right. And to, to show this, we don't actually have to um, soak these. These are going to work just fine uh, as, as they are. So what I want you to do is put them right next to each other. And then before you push them together, just make it so that the uh, continental crust, represented by the honey graham cracker, is slightly over uh, the other one, the uh, oceanic crust. Ooh, so it should rise slightly over the it. So just slide them together. So like a little over, spot, you said? Yep, so just, just make a camera. little. Perfect. Like yep, and we've got it there. And go ahead and just push them together. All right, and stop right there for me, Will. So um, similar kind of thing, right? So we have two things coming together. But what's happening here is that the uh, oceanic crust is what we, we call it subducting. It's going below the continental crust. You will also get mountain ranges here, but these mountain ranges are largely formed from the continental crust crumbling over top of the oceanic crust. So studying the types of rocks in those mountain ranges can give you a sense of what type of a, a boundary you're looking at. So it would kind of look like, you know, like this graham cracker, and eventually this crumbles, and it kind of is just like a pile of... Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And, and again, a mountain range because you have something being uplifted over something else, uh -huh. but again, not two, uh, two boundaries squishing into each other and mixing. Right. Okay, so those are our two types of convergent boundaries. We'll just stick them over here. <laughs> um, okay, back up. I'm going to go ahead of you, okay, because transforms the special one. Let me say it for last. <laughs> okay. Best for last. Special, like, back up. Okay, so I'm going to do, uh, I'll do two oceanic crusts because chocolate is delicious. Um, and because we get a lot of divergent plate boundaries in oceanic crust for a good reason. So um, divergent plate boundaries form when you have two boundaries. And I'll try to put this back in our center spot so that we can see. I don't know if we can frame that up. Boop, 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 boop. All right, so divergent plate boundaries uh, are, like they sound, uh, plate boundaries that spread apart from each other. And they're they, they spread apart because you get some kind of an upswelling from the mantle below that heats the area between them and starts to actually push away at both of those. So it's like liquid hot magma would be coming up into the ocean, making a crack in the center of it. And then from that point, you would get what's called seafloor spreading as that magma cools and pushes outward. Okay? So divergent plate boundary is pretty simple. We'd end up something like this, although the magma at the center, as it's upwelling, would start to harden and become new oceanic crust. Mm -hmm. That's happening uh, today in the Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean is growing. Uh, the Pacific Ocean is shrinking. So even though the Pacific Ocean is a large body of, of water right now, um, over the course of millions and millions of years, it is going to get smaller and smaller as the, ocean, as the Atlantic Ocean continues to expand. There's also um, the East African Rift Valley. Have you guys ever heard of that before? So the East African Rift Valley is just an area in East Africa where we have a Rift Valley, which is a divergent plate boundary. And it's still a landmass. It's still a continent. But as it pulls apart, there's a belief that that's going to become the newest ocean uh, hmm. on the Earth, long after we're all. Is this kind of how those trenches are formed, or is that different? Yeah, like the Marianas Trench. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, although 
That's maybe not the only, but yes, definitely. Oh, trenches are formed form, from yeah. seafloor spreading. Okay. Um, so the last one, and, and probably one of the most interesting types, is the transform boundary. Uh -huh. So, um, Becca, you can do a continental and an oceanic if that's cool with you. Cool. All right. So stick them right next to each other. And then uh, with a transform boundary, instead of pushing into each other or pulling away from each other, because of the way that the currents of the mantle underneath are circulating, you get them slipping against each other up and down. So if you could pull the oceanic crust towards you and the push the honey graham cracker away from you. Oh, so oh, nice. kind of grinding. And yeah. Becca's doing a nice job of grinding the graham cracker against <laughs> each other, which is excellent. That's exactly what you want. So um, a transform plate boundary uh, is a kind of boundary that tends to give us um, lots of cool. earthquakes. We also get those from convergent plate boundaries. Mm -hmm. um, but transform plate boundaries can be especially good at creating situations that we call uh, stick and slip situations. Right. So stick and slip situations are situations where, you know, you've got two pieces of crust pushing against each other, it's pushing harder, pushing harder, pressure is building up, Bang. but it hasn't been released, and then all of a sudden that pressure releases, and that release of pressure is, is an earthquake, or as we feel it up on the earth. Uh -huh. hmm. So anyways, you know, kind of a simple thing to do, but the, these are the four types of plate boundaries that exist uh, on the earth. And so if you're trying to get a sense of, you know, what do these mean, how do these work, uh, I strongly recommend going out and taking a look at uh, where you, what you can see of plate boundaries, what you can see of real geology. We live in Colorado. There's amazingly cool things you can see up in the mountains. Uh, but if you just want to get a concept, this is a great way to do it. So hopefully that was informative. Uh, we're going to call it right there and spend our break eating a little bit of peanut butter and graham crackers. We will see you back in the Homer Kotline studio in just a minute.